Okay, welcome back. So I've turned the camera around. It's now looking at my iPad. I'm in the App Store. I've uh, typed for flight into my search bar, F-O-R-E, flight. Download that app. You The download is free. You can download it all day, and I, I believe there's maybe a trial period, something to that effect. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. Once you're in here, you'll need to subscribe to an account. The basic account is all you need, the basic service. The advantage to some of the other accounts, and I'm not sure what levels there are now, it keeps changing, is I really do like the ones that show you the airplane taxiing on the surface or on the approach charts or arrival and departure charts. But that's more of an IFR feature. For VFR guys, unless you're at a busy airport, the basic service is really all you need. And at a busy airport, if you fly out of it regularly, the basic service is really all you need anyways, because you are familiar with that airport. So really what I'm trying to say is that the basic service is all you need. Okay, up to you though, do what you wanna do. Once you have that cooking, now we're gonna go into the downloads. And this is where, if you already have four flight, this is where you'll join me, okay? Your battery needs to be sufficient for the flight. I would argue you show up with 100% battery life. Your, subscri your, your device needs to be up to date because four flight is designed to work with the most current version of iOS. And then you will need to go ahead and make sure that your four flight is up to speed. Press this download button if it's highlighted. That means that there are downloads that are outstanding and it's asking your permission, permission to download them. If your device is new, go ahead and select United States. Turn on anything that you want. You want the taxi diagrams and AFD. You may want the terminal procedures. I don't know. Taxi diagrams are already there. VFR charts, certainly want those. High resolution terrain, heck yeah, why not? We have an iPad. It's got some fun features in there. We'll look at those later. Turn on the state that you primarily flight train in. You don't need to download them all. If you're gonna go on a trip and you're gonna fly through some of these states, it'll give you the option to download them later. It's really easy to use. It's very intuitive. You cannot mess it up. And that way you don't occupy tons of room on your hard drive. So just download the state that you're going to be flying out of on a day-to-day -day basis. Also, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention settings. Let's look at those. The vast majority of these are simply preferences. Let me show you a couple that I prefer to have changed from the factory default setting. Show weather first. I like to turn that on. What it does is when you're on the airports page, it shows us the weather tab first. Program is defaulted to show you this page first, frequencies. If you're VFR, you don't really care about all this because all the frequencies are already listed right here. So it's nice if the machine defaults to the weather and you can go ahead and read the weather and have the frequencies all on one page. After that, we're gonna look at distance rings. We're gonna turn those on and we're gonna select five, 10 and 25 nautical miles. 25 miles, you need to be checking the weather. At 10 miles, call the tower or CTAF, and at five miles, begin your descent to traffic pattern altitude. Some nice little nifty handy checkpoints there. There are lots of uh, features in here, and I'm going slowly, so you can make yours look like mine if you want to. I'm not gonna go into all of them right now. Go through, play with every one of them, and know what they are. But to get us started, just emulate what I'm doing here, okay? Automatic downloads, auto check, certainly want that. Enable start stop control and auto start. This is an important one when it comes to cross country flight because if you inadvertently forget to start your clock prior to takeoff and your examiner says, hey, what time are we supposed to be at our checkpoint? and you go, oh no, I forgot to start my clock, and it happens almost all the time, you'll at least have a clock that the device auto-started right here when it sends to you going faster than a preset level that you can preset, but from the factory it comes at, I believe it's 40, 30 or 40 knots, I think 40. So when you cross 40 knots on takeoff, it'll just start recording. Ooh, that's a handy feature to have. Okay. That's that.
I'm going to scroll through the rest of these so you can go ahead and make yours look like mine if you want to. If you don't want to, that's also okay. But that's our settings. After this, we're going to go ahead and plan a flight, and we're going to be in the Maps page to do that. See you in a moment.